When we look to verify inverses, they're going to, the book will give us a function of x, function f of x, and a function g of x. And really, we now don't have to do any hunting, we just need to do the checking. And how do we check whether or not inverse, or two functions are inverses of each other? Basically, we do the composition of those two functions. We're going to check whether f of g of x is equal to x and whether the g of f of x is also equal to x. Okay, so we're basically going to perform these two operations with these two functions. f of x is equal to 2x cubed minus 1 and g of x is the cube root of the quantity x plus 1 all divided by 2. Taking on first f of g of x. Okay? f of g of x is equal to 2 times my x quantity. x quantity, again, is the whole function g of x. So it's times the quantity cube root of x plus 1 all divided by 2, closed quantity, cubed minus 1. Okay? So checking this out, I have the cube root cubed. And something that has a cube root that's been cubed cancels itself out. So we're left with 2 times the quantity x plus 1 all divided by 2 minus 1. Okay? So looking at this, I have 2 over 1. Okay? 2 over 1 is going to leave me, as I multiply this out, it's going to be 2 times x plus 2 all divided by 2. I can split that up and later will, okay? So 2 times x plus 2 all divided by 2, I can separate that into 2 times x divided by 2, which is equal to x plus 2 divided by 2, and 2 divided by 2 we know is 1 minus 1, which is just us bringing down this piece of the pie, of the puzzle, and now we have x plus 1 minus 1, which is equal to x. So this checks. Now checking g of f of x and seeing whether or not that is equal to x, we're going to have the cube root. Okay, this is going to be equal to the cube root of x, which is now f of x, this whole function. So 2 times x cubed minus 1, now plus 1. Okay, plus 1, all divided by 2. Okay, taking care of this, I now still have the cube root of 2 times x cubed minus 1, plus 1, still all under the radical, again all divided by 2. My negative 1 and my positive 1 are going to cancel out. And now I have this equal to the cube root of 2 times x cubed all over 2. And I've got a 2 divided by a 2, those will reduce to 1 over 1, leaving me with the cube root of x cubed, which we all know is equal to x. And this one checks as well. So, are these two inverses? Yes, they are. Good luck finding your inverses.